Hello there guys, this is Zlevik and welcome back to Saving Your Ring Campaigns. It's time to come back with some new content related to this and we are going to play as Persia today. Persia that is behind in ideas, behind in technologies, with huge coalition wars and really bad problems with money. So first of all, let's hear what is the situation. Dear Zlevik, I started my game as Ardabil and formed Persia to get the Shahan Shah achievement. I also wanted to get This is Persia one next, but as I started conquering India for more money source, I took too much land and got declared on by the coalition. That would not have been a merging problem, but it also animated the Ottomans to kill me as well, and I'm screwed. Thank you for helping out people. Alright, we are in the save game. As you can see, we are in two coalition wars. First of them against Astrakhan, and that's against all of these guys. And second one is against Garhvalian, against it's against India plus Mamluks. So the collision is pretty big. That will be our major problem to deal with that, especially with the Ottomans and Mamluks. We need to get rid of them from the collision. We have seventeen thousand of that. Pretty problematic, and uh, not much of absolutism for for this year. Ideas, we are a little bit behind and I thought it would be worse with the technologies, but we need to get manufacturers institution, but we don't have any manufacturers. That's a problem, we'll do with this. So first of all, I see that this war is going for five years. So if we go to offer tribute and ask them to suggest an offer, we can say that they want one promise for Delhi, which is Samana. They want me to release one, two, three, four provinces nation here. That's it, that's going to give me 10 years of truth. I'm going to accept that. They've lost way more troops. Now we have time and more resources to deal with this coalition, which is still having more troops than us, but I think if we focus on winning the battles, then it should be all good. But before that, I don't like this, we have really great ruler, but I'm going to put our focus on the military. Because we are going to spend some more meal points. And let's see, do we have any cheaper advisors to use? No, they are not cheaper. We'll have to try getting them. Because cheaper advisors are the most important thing that you should fight for. So, just by piecing out the coalition, our income is 140. I'm going now to deal with the estates. First of all, we need to increase our max absolutes. And second of all, just use the estates a little bit more properly. In Ulema, we have admin points. And Equilibrium, we only need admin points for now. In Dimi, we have just leaders upkeep here, so no, this is not what we need. Here I cannot cancel it for now, but yeah, we are going to deal with that. And finally, Amir's is the supremacy over the crown. So no, I'm going to cancel supremacy of the crown and take mill points instead. Same for the merchant guilds. Here, now thanks to cancelling the supremacy of the crown, I can cancel this and instead I am going to take also Power points. So all three states are giving us power points. Of course, right now I have just nine of the crown land, which should increase our local autonomy in the provinces barely. But don't worry, we have a couple of power points, and I'm going just to develop a few times to get rid of that. Now, take the diet. As for the diet, there's almost always something really interesting to take here, and I see right away that we can get a cheaper advisor. 50% cheaper advisor for improved relations, something that we need, we just improve relations with Manchu a little bit. This is super, super, super useful. So let's send right away the improved relation guy to Manchu. As for loans limit, it's 37, but it will be increasing. So I think I'm going to start taking some loans, but let's first take loans from these guys. This is 1% loans that are way cheaper, so I'll pay a little bit less of the interest. And it's 23 out of 37. Let's get it up to 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's 30 out of 37. Don't worry, we'll be increasing that limit. And right now I have 12,000 to invest. And I'm going to surely invest into manufacturers, which you can see are going to give us millions of money and millions of trade value that we are going to use later. So let's spend out of this 12,000, going to spend 10,000. Just leave us 2,000. Well, let's spend everything, honestly. So right now with this manufacturers will be increasing our money. 
and our possibilities to later win the Ottomans because that will be the ending goal of this ruined campaign. So now we need to organize our troops, get them all together and try winning battles with the Ottomans which should be a bit bad because we have a military technology advantage. I really don't understand why people don't use army professionalism. So let's get this 50,000 and thanks to that I'm going to build up my artillery to the combat with which is 34 and I'm going to build up my infantry to double the combat with so I'll be having the combat with plus some reinforcements on the battles with the Ottomans. That means that we need to build 5,000 of our artillery, let's build this template, 5,000 and 20,000 of infantry, that's I think at least should be all that we'll need to win this war. What I actually did wrong, I started building all these manufacturers before taking this, so I'm going to cancel all of this and build even more of manufacturers because I'll be having the construction cost and also time which is important for the bankruptcy building. Six months later! So I just click that, I can get some admin points as well, I can get some inflation reduction and uh, I'll get this as well after the bankruptcy building. So let's build all of this manufacturers. You can see that okay, it cost me 457 right now, which is still not the lowest amount but it's just alright. With my meal points, I will first of all develop my provinces exactly 7 times with all of the power points to get my crowns to 10% and after that I'll be spending my meal points on harsh treatment because we have the harsh treatment thing here and to be able to bring our absolutism to higher levels. It's 9.98 so let's go to Baghdad, click it. Maybe other points we have because we have a lot of them and it's 10%. So my local autonomy is no longer increasing and with the rest of mill points I'm going to go here. Those guys are no longer a problem but let's go here. It's 7 for harsh treatment. 7. 7. That's free absolutism. We should definitely use that right now. Now we have a ready army to go in and get some stack wipes. We should be a easy war score with Poland here as well. But the biggest problem is that these guys these guys are occupying me in this at the same time and I don't have that much army to deal with all of them but what we can think of what are the technologies like Mama is 20 these guys are 20 okay I'll send this one stack I don't know why I have one key of artillery deleted this one stack that was supposed to be my reinforcement stack I think it is going to go and deal with India why this stack which is my main stack is going to make some stack fights because I see they are not organizing well. Let's see, this is going to be our first major battle. I also should increase this guy level 3 because he's 50% cheaper and uh, this guy is not cheaper and also this one. But we are going bankruptcy building anyway so we should get as much power points as possible right now generate because we anyway will be taking loans. So let's go and try this battle. I'll be here on 8th, he'll be here on 4th. But I go on the 4th smash, I'll be here on the still 8th. Okay, let's just go there without the force march and let's see how... Oh, oh yes, 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 give me a stack wipe. That's, yes, that's 4% of the war score, we need more. Let's go take care of these guys, they have 28% of the mountain fort. Now the major question is, can we defeat 50,000 Ottomans with just this stack? If you ask me, I would say they are running away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 never mind, never mind. We need to go and deal with the others. I don't have time for going after those guys. Let's go and rush these guys first and then we'll go there straight to our capital. My absolute is already 35, so I keep spending my mid points on doing that. And also from the battles, we have 25% war score. It's been a good way to just white piece this war. Relations with Mancha already improved, so I'm going to take this cheaper advisor right away. So he's just uh, 7 pull level 3 advisor, you can get him level 4, I'll get this guy on level 4 as well, because we are on the level 1 limit already, that's because they are occupying our lands, I thought we are better with money situation, but I guess we have 10 maps on such balance to take care of these things, it's okay, as soon as we build these manufacturers our loan limit will increase significantly, yeah, it was 42, remember? Now it's 35. So that's just because us being occupied. So how close are we to get a white piece? Not so much. What do you want right now? You want this province, these two provinces, this, this and this. 
and release Unark. Skazi Monarch and Unark is this one. Okay, let's win a couple of more battles so at least have 40 here and then I'll try to get rid of this war. I believe that after I stack wipe this army here, this 27,000 of the Ottomans, even though I fight to minus 2, yeah, because that I didn't stack wipe them, you have 40% war score from the battles now. So let's see what the hell you guys want from me. Not 57, now it's just 38% of the war score. It's just sit. Okay, one province of Strakhan, one province of the Ottomans, and release this and this. <laughs> yeah, I can't get any more from you battles and they will keep occupying me because I don't have armies all around the world to deal with that. So I'm going to accept this peace deal with just a minimal amount of the territories. I guess expansion, now the coalition will start dissolving because the Ottomans have zero, almost. And here it will not be a problem. We will deal with India and Ottomans later. To boost my absolute is far, I'm going to decrease Alphonom in a couple of provinces, wherever I can to do that. Right now it's 42 and we have an enormous amount of admin points. So we start stating more provinces because we also have governing capacity for that. And I'll focus on getting all of this stated. You see we stated all of here for now, that was this 300 admin points that we've had. It's 116 and we can take seven more loans. I will keep that on the full amount of the loans that we can have because I need to be aware when we might go bankrupt. You can see this manufacturer is on a good way so I can start getting buildings that will also help me but they will finish around those manufacturers because you know we don't have that much time to build another manufacturers so I'll start building workshops not so much, training fields I think also not so much I honestly don't know. What about improving? Yes, I'll improve our forts to level 6, at least the ones that are on the borders of any enemies. Okay, this is the first thing. What I will also do is to... Actually, I don't know. I'll, should I build more manufacturers? How much is this going to take? Wow, five, that's less than 5 years thanks to the bonuses. But it's still a lot. You know what? Let's do that. It's all good guys, right now I have 1.4 thousand nuggets in my pocket and I'll need to increase my loan cap. Most of the first batch of manufacturers are ending in 30s. I'm really interested how this is going to change our total income. Unfortunately what I saw that we don't really have much value in Persia because we have problems with getting all of the trade around to us. We probably need more merchants. But let's see, one more day, it's 121. It's 130 and right now we need to wait a month. Oh yes, we need stability. Remember, we lose free stability when going bankrupt. So it's good to have free when doing that. It's 132, 136, but you see that they have five other loans to take. So this is 300 and uh, yes, 700 to do this manufacturers. I can, I'm leaving that for sure for the moment and I'll be bankrupt. And on the process when I got the manufacturers, I'm going to get the workshops. And what else? I can also get a couple of buildings for the manpower. Our error just dies, the new one is 5 to 5, which is in my opinion a very good error. And let's get these guys on level 5. We need to get even more power points. And this is already as good as it could be. What I can do is to get free claims on all of the provinces of those nations that are heathens or heretics to us, which should be, yes, everything around here and here. Later, as promised, I'll focus first on getting down India, and after getting down India, we'll get down the Ottomans. And now, in 50 days, our manufacturers are ending, the income is already 152. With these manufacturers, we can get closer to 160. So it's 156, and in a month, it should be also an update of the trade value, 158. Very nice, we can take another two loans and I need to write down that in the 1st September of 1668 we are going bankrupt. I also started building some fleet because here we having a lot of trade value being stolen from us in Basra. Oh yeah, we just got the Kano Regency which is just 224, that's very unfortunate, but in 13 years this cool ball is coming in. Also, as I'm reaching my amount of the manpower and I don't have that much armies, I will start building more of them right now because we have funds for that, which we won't have 
during the bankruptcy. I'm going to build 34 Kaomori inf infantry two times. Yes, that should be good. We'll be having 170k of troops. Here are finishing our diplomatic ideas, which unlocks our new policies, including... I don't think if any of this is really useful for us. Like, income from us, as do I... That's actually it. I can not keep it. It's not a waste of power points. This is 10% morale. Yeah. Because my religious unity is great. Yeah, I don't need any of those. Now I'm hitting the cap of my mill points. So what I'm going to do, even though I don't have many bonuses as of course, it's like in our multiplayer games when you're stacking them, but it's still okay, I'm going to go and spend those mill points on increasing the manpower in a couple of the provinces without spending any other power points because we simply don't have them. Oh, no, no, not on this for sure. Because um, this tech, I could take it ahead of time, but honestly, no, there is no need for that, so let's just get the death cost in this. I have the prosperity, so it helps. Let's increase that. Maybe... Uh, mountains... I can do it here. And right now we are getting that even higher. Another thing that may work is just decreasing up for me all the promises that I just stated, which is a lot of them. And that should help increasing our loan cap together with just stating more of the provinces. Ay, 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 I think I spent too much, uh, miscalculated this a little bit, wanted to go more aggressively a bit, okay, I'm going to get interest per annum from here, it's all powers cost, I know that it's going to hurt us a little bit, but it's also going to help us with the inflation, so take this, and now, yes, now I can take 8 more loans, with 8 more loans, we can easily do two things, first of all, live for another year, because in a year we can go bankrupt, and second of all, if I take this, it's 8,000 ducats. So I can embrace the institution. Yes, what I won't be able to do later. As I don't have much more admin points to core the points, I am going to start adding some of those to trade companies. And I think I'll add the whole Coromandel to it. And I'll do the same in the Gujarat. See, a lot of potential loans to take. Because our total income is 186, that's probably because we are finally getting some yeah, some prosperity and this institution that we just embraced is giving good prudence modifier, which is super strong from Persia. This was 20, right now it's 50, so increasing that, well, I expect it to drop below 150 when I go bankrupt. Alright, now our income is 191, I can take 7 more loans and I own the maximum power. And I could go bankrupt, but first I want to take this technology and probably also this one. So wait this less than two years to go bankrupt, to have an advantage in these technologies. And in the meantime, I'll start building new stacks. I'm going to build one more stack of infantry. Okay, I can take this already, but let's wait till January, because in January this cost is going to decrease by 10%. <sighs> Mill take cost on top of that. So right now it's costing me 760 and in January and in January it's 701. So let's just take it. Right now we are handed the mill deck which will be super important in the previous wars and we have to spend the rest of our power points. First of all, let's spend our mill points and I'm going to get some better leaders from that. This I'll try to one, two, no they are not better. And the rest of the power points I'm going to spend on devving the provinces. Start with Ganja. Ganja has the dev cost bon uh, here bonus. So let's just spend it. That's it. Can I spend it anywhere else? I don't think so. I think that was absolutely cheapest. And should we deal with that first? Should we? Yeah, let's deal with that first. Remember, later we'll be having 50% uh, lower morale. 200 income. Not for long, unfortunately, but, well, that was expected. So, let's click this. As you remember, it's interest per annum, 50% less morale, no manpower recovery speed, like, less manpower recovery speed. All these nasty bonuses, minuses, I would even say. First of all, we'll take one more leader. Oh, whoa, whoa, take one more leader, because we have over 50. And right now, I can cancel this, go bankrupt. Now, zero stability, because I prepared myself for that. Of course, more rebels incoming. And our income is 195. 
Let's remember, we got devastation. It's 10% devastation in the whole country. And that's why forts are really useful to drop that. And with an amount it's dropping to 175. It's more than I thought. It's more than I thought. I really like that. We didn't have that much of prosperity. And now the main focus is to get level 1 advisors here. Just uh, take this money first. This is what we really need. Take the prestige bonus and level 1 advisors. So trade efficiency here. Inflation here. So inflation is dropping 0.35 monthly. And later I'll be having to get rid of those two rights here. Which should be not a big problem. With 3000 nuggets at 80 of the balance, I should actually invest into more buildings. Let's first of all get the workshops on the provinces where I got the manufacturers. And second of all, maybe more, yes, even more manufacturers are ready to be built. And of course change my unit types. I'm going to start spending my money on increasing the trade centers everywhere to level 2. Something that we of course lost, but I think I could focus here, yeah, I could focus on doing that first in my trade companies to get this additional merchant that we need so much. We got finally the merchant from the West Indies and what I'm going to do, I'm going to use him, straight him in Coromandel, so send it, you see this a lot of value going the wrong direction for us, so that should help us significantly, maybe not significantly, but Nicely improve our income because we still don't have much here and uh, remember I still, still like I'm improving my trade centers all the time but you know it's not an easy process to increase that everywhere. Let's see how this is going to change our income. We're already below 200, almost on 200. It's 203 right now so basically more than we have before the bankruptcy. Now that our bankruptcy ended I know that it's a huge waste of meal points. But we have zero legitimacy, which is dropping that significantly. So we're going to spend 400 to get in that a little bit up. And we have two things to do. We need to get the Mazaradan because it's stealing 14% of our trade in Persia. That's first thing. And second thing, keep conquering Vijay because we need more trade partner in Coromandel to add it to the trade companies so we get additional merchant for us. From Vijay, I'm going to take all of my claims. Plus, I would like, yes, that is going to be hard to take, especially the capital. Look how much Mamluks are stealing from us here, it's 40%. What if I embargo them, especially that they are my rivals, so I should do that. Anyways, you should embargo. Right now it's 17 going to us, 37 to them. It's also affected by the overextension, which drops this down, but let's see how effective is going to put this embargo in 1737. 2132. Okay. Helpful. Probably with overextension going down, it will be even better. And in here, I'm going to build the trade center. As for Mazaradan, I could fully annex them, but that's 500 admin points to pay. So I'm going to fully annex them, but I'll release them as my vassal. Because we don't have that many admin points, so let's just release them. It's the vassal. We need to. Diver they trade, of course, they might be disloyal for some time. If you improve relations, that should be nice. And right now, our income should increase even farther from 210 because we have 65% here. It's going to increase to, I don't honestly know, 217. I like that very much. As you see, I have prepared stacks already to go and clap the Ottomans. I have two stacks here to deal with the allies in India. Honestly, one to India, Alay Malwa, and another one will go on Hormuz. I don't have to do that, I don't have to deal with the Ottomans, but I want to show you guys that thanks to the changes that we made in this country, it will be really easy to defeat them. Time to declare, unfortunately we've lost all of our good leaders, so that will be a little bit of a problem. Now, Benga would like to help us, Ethiopia would like to help us, if we promise them land, but they'll be separately pissed, probably. And we can go for show superiority, I believe. We should be able to win battles with them. Let's go. Now for the numbers update. So you have better numbers. And if you go to army quality, you see there is a quite nice difference on our advantage. So let's go. I should be able to be South Aquil already separately. I'm going to break the relations with the Ottomans, break the relations with Hormuz and take all of the money that we can. 
Right now, this stack, we're probably going there, but first we need to get rid of the black mark. You can see it's kind of, it's just a six stack, you know, 10,000 at least the max bonus versus level 2 fort. So let's go and use that. Why well, this is the combat stack? See, they are standing here with stack. Okay, we need to get ready. Because right now, those boys are definitely not ready to reinforce when needed. Yes, and now, let's see, I'll be there on the 17th. It's 21st. If I arrive here on the 22nd, I'll catch the stack 0 2 14. Yes, I'll be there on the 22nd. So just between those two stacks, changing their places. Now, I'll start reinforcing that already because I have the same amount of artillery and infantry here. We don't want to artillery to get to the first row. I want to play it a little bit more safe. Let's see how it will go. Let's see. This will not be an easy battle. See how many troops they have around here. Oh, there it goes another Arduin deck, which unlocks me mm, quality ideas for sure. How many the reserves we have? Just 30,000. 30,000 is really not much. So start reinforcing that with a force march. And this battle will be super close. They actually will be going to first stroke. They don't reinforce, but they're enforcing in two days. Yes, yes, yes. See how we are old numbered here. This is going to be tough. I'm here on the 23rd. Lost a little bit of the artillery. Let's go. Oh my god. It's 8,000 reserves. They have 30,000 reserves. We are losing that. Two zeros in a row will so work its job. It's okay. Just go behind the Sinop Fort. As for the losses, yeah, it was more severe for them because most importantly, they lost a lot of artillery. But it was the worst on the other hand. I also have this stack here. With this stack, I would have won. But I need to take them Ejal if I want to find them. Should be able to piece out Hormuz separately, so I have 50% of the war score, bridge the relations with the Ottomans, and give me money! Just as much as you're going to accept. So, this amount, thank you so much. This stack is going to help on the front line here. This for the dam, I can get those two stacks together. Artillery stack, the combat stack, and a little bit more of the siege stack. This guy should be coming, it's okay. They should take this force probably before I even arrive there. But let's see, let's see. He, you see that he have millions of troops all around. We need to focus on catching the right ones. I think I'm going to get this guy's a force march and go and try taking them on Ejel. Those guys is just going are just going to follow. This will just catch 5k stack. Yes, oh, see how many troops they have around. It's hard to even think what is doing what. Really. I'm getting attacked here. So many troops around, guys. So many troops around. But we just need to look for a good province to fight. Here's a very bad province. I will be fighting with minus two because of the crossing. I need to find a defending battle. <laughs> 100,000 here. Ah, so many troops. Ejal is good. It's just drylands maybe, but if they reinforce from here, they will be having the crossing. Type of the battle that we can try taking. And those guys, oh, so many troops, I feel like they recruited so many of that in the meantime. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to shift consolidate before coming. Not a stack wipe, I'm lacking troops here to do a stack wipe. They're not even reinforcing that though. Okay, stand here after all. We've got some additional war score. Mawa might be pissed out. From Mawa, I'm going to break the relations with Chagatai, with the Ottomans, give me money, and also give me your trade power. Thank you so much. So how much did Ottomans build actually? They have 350,000, 140,000 mercs. I need to let them go into the fort so I'll be able to take a defensive battle. That's the defensive battle I was looking for. I'll be able to attack them in Sinop, so shift consolidate, you start getting ready to reinforce that right away in a second. This is going to be also a tough battle, I think. Shouldn't be able to stack by them. Start going there already. Because you see, reserves are going out. We'll be here on the 17th, so just on time. Additional troops. So freaking many troops from them. They're coming with everything, you know. <sighs> How many reserves do we have? 17,000. Those guys would be too late. I need to go on the force march to be on in 10 days. 10 days might be also too much. 14,000. Yeah, I'll be on the 10th. 3rd, 4th. 2,000 reserves. See, I'll be too late. My artillery. See, it's coming to the first row. I have 3 days to reinforce. 
no, it's not going to work. Rather, see, they have 80,000 reserves in this battle. We need to go back and unite with those guys. So let's go here. Tail losses are so massive. This won't be an easy war, guys. You know, this won't be an easy war. And we do have still manpower. We do have money. And we do have the army professionals. I'm going to build another stack. Now I'm reorganizing the stacks. So we're leaving here 36,000. 36,000. This is going to be my combat stack. The rest just need to reorganize right now. And we're going to try to get... Like, right now they had a good position to be, you know, united. This guy should protect Basra. And uh, I will let them come into my country a bit more. So be able to catch any stacks misplaced. <laughs> yeah, this probably is not to defend. We'll see. I think that might be a moment when they are misplaced. They have just two stacks here, the rest are there. And okay. Get the force march. Start coming. Start coming. Start coming. This is going to be a nice battle. With good rolls, we should be able to easily stack wipe this. Yes, there it goes. Those guys are movement locked. I'm going straight there and trying reinforce and right away because it also might be a stack wipe, but I need 80,000 troops to pull the stack wipe off. If we. Yes, I think that should be okay. We'll do that. Eighth. There it goes. Now, they have way less troops than they did. Let's see, Mr. Ottoman. Let's see this. Still a lot. But no, this is Mink. But Thomas has just 195,000 troops right now. Alright, we can go farther. Here I don't have enough infantry to pull off about this 21,000. So what I'm going to do is to get whole infantry from this and take this stack instead, which is full. No, it's actually not full. I need two more thousand because current combat is 36,000. So it's just shift consolidate here, take two more thousand, and this stack you will be ready to fight with anything look that the Ottomans are by an accident attacking me here that's a stack wipe for sure and if i go here and reinforce it right away it will be ninth third let's wait a few days it's sixth one two it's eighth that's ninth let's go i'll get those two stacks together and that is also a very possible stack or just shift consolidate here shift consolidate here and let's see how it will go that, yes, that should be a stack wipe. That's another stack wipe. So we've killed already 400,000 troops of them. Fankarda, we need to think what we want to do next. This stack is surely don't, not having enough of infantry, but if we force march 28th, we force march there and reinforce with this stack two days. One, two. This is going to be enough infantry in this and a possible stack wipe. With good rolls, we're going to stack wipe them. With bad rolls, not so much. <laughs> two. 6 to 6, okay. No, that's a, not a stack wipe. But that was close though. Yeah, that was very close to uh, get a stack wipe, but we've killed millions of troops here. So we have right now 22% of the wars go from the battles. I can wipe these those, that's 46 right now. And uh, let's go farther now. Let's do the same trick, you know? Get infantry out of this stack. Artillery goes there. Now from this two stacks and going to get 36,000 the rest are going just to stay here and reinforce I think that's the point when we can finish them off like what is they have 4,000 dead we have 80% of the war score okay we can wait a little bit more for these guys to switch down do we want to know I will have just to just take one less province and that's the piece that I'll be waiting for. Let's just wait for that. Now that I think they should be accepting anything I want to, even one more province, let's, you know, let's just we can do even more by taking some money. Maybe instead of Amasi, I'll take, take Tokat. It's beautiful borders. Take money. That's what I go and accept. There we go. Now, I probably... Yeah, I can core all of this because I'm ahead in the admin deck right now. <sighs> This would be more useful to take with that. Shit. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just for exhaustion. Core everything. Now. I think that will be ending on that. Like, QQ is an easy victim, which we can kill in six years. India is even more easy victim. That is not a problem. That is not a problem, especially that right now we do have 240,000 troops. We have lots of manpower. We have 257 ducats of money. We'll be feeling the quality ideas probably next step for the owner of the safe. 
is to focus on getting maximum absolute this up, if, especially about the getting rid of those two privileges. So I think this would be all for today, guys. I I do really enjoy repairing this save game. Let me show you how many manufacturers will be. This is all that we've done. There was zero manufacturers earlier. Income is almost tripled. So thank you so much for watching today, guys. And if you enjoyed this episode of Saving Current Campaigns, please a moment to leave a like and comment. And of course to subscribe to the channel because I see that not many of you are subscribing when watching the video. If you enjoy, just subscribe. And I will see you soon.